is up YouTube, it is Matty and welcome to this video where we are going to attempt a 3 star attack on number 12 this war. So, you'll think, why are the bases still not hit and I'm trying to do a 3 star? Well, firstly, um, the war is basically won. Um, I don't think the enemy have got any chance of clearing the 9s, of putting up a good fight. So, um, it's cleared with leadership that they're happy for me to try a 3. And secondly, um, I want to do a big shout out to Achilles, um, who was attacking on Dam's account, who you can see here, um, because he basically was um, did the scout for me. I talked through what talked through exactly what I wanted him to do, and he did it to perfection. So really glad with how this scout went. Um, and yeah, what I asked him to do was to do a walk because I think it's a natural path. You can hit the first air defense from where the queen starts um, without the healers dying and she's not going to hit another air defense for a good old while. Um, if she, can, Assuming she goes clockwise, naturally we're going to put the uh, minions down to help create the funnel um, and she's going to start going clockwise. He's pulled the clan castle and then that's it. All, all, all goodness is happening. She's um, going to take down the CC. And then she's going to carry on walking. And that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So um, I then said, can you drop three um, hog riders on the 9 o'clock archer tower, which you're about to see happen. Um, I wasn't sure if there's a Tesla there. If there wasn't, I was thinking, can three hog riders take it down? Um, just so happens that there was a Tesla there and three hog, hog riders didn't even get close. But that sort of gave me an idea um, of how to, because there was obviously a Tesla there, and if you look at the actual defense layout, it gave me an idea of how to attack that in a bit. Next thing I asked him to do is, while the queen's still walking, is to drop giants in, break them in, um, and then sort of push towards the first inferno tower, use heal to keep the giants alive, use rage spell to get into the, co um, to the core. I did expect him to use the second rage spell for the queen, um, but in the end he let her die to make sure he could uh, get guarantee the two star with the extra rage spell. Sent in his Valks. Um, but he didn't have many extra hog riders to help clean up the base. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go for something a little bit different, um, which I'm quite excited about, actually. So, it taught me everything I needed to know on the first initial hit about the base um, to, get, to give me an idea as to what I should try, what I shouldn't try. Um, so, hopefully I can, uh, yeah, talk you through what my, what my thought process was and how I'm going to try and three-star it. So I'm going to do the same walk, um, because the walk was perfect, um, and he's going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, potentially seven um, decent defences down on the on the actual walk route. I could break in and try and go for the expo, but I think that's a little bit risky, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and it adds a lot of troop space as well. Breaking her in, breaking her out, I don't really want to try that. Just let her do the walk and let her take down the clan castle and that should be fine. So an easy hog rider to pull. I think Dam did do a hog to pull. Let me look when he did it. He, cause, um, it's always worth noting when things go right how to uh, replicate it. Because he, you can see as soon as he dropped the minions he dropped the hog in. And when the, the, the CC went up. And at this point when he engages this clan castle there is zero defences shooting her. So that's the exact way I want it to work for me. So I'm going to replicate that. Um, but going back into a, the scout, what I was thinking, if I drop a giant down onto the arch tower and drop two wizards, one on the arch ta on the army camp, one on the barracks, they will go down and my funnel is complete, which is exactly what I wanted to happen um, with the initial sort of um, sending in the, the hogs. Um, I was hoping I could get away with it with three hogs because then it would save me um, taking it, take a defence down. I wouldn't need to worry about it, etc. But it, obviously, it, did, it isn't going to work because of the Tesla. Um, so what I was thinking: what if I send all the hog riders in there? There's no giant bombs except for when they um, push through a bit deeper. So and then use a heal spell for sort of where the wizard tower, the expo is. So what I'll essentially have is like a dual attack. My Valkyrie is going in through the um, 10 o'clock and my Hog Rider is going in through sort of 9 to 8 o'clock and then that should almost um, help eliminate the majority of the defences, especially with the Queen walking round from sort of um, the other side. So I'm eliminating a lot more, getting a more bang for my buck. Now, how can I save on troop space? Um, 
is the other question. So, skull wall there. Don't really need um, don't really need wall breakers to get in. Don't really need the giants either. They were just a little bit of a waste of time. So what I'm thinking is to use just a mass Valkyries. Considering that these two buildings will go down, send them a few like CC Valkyries on that pump, and then my main squad in on the um, barracks here, and then eventually they'll break in, jump over straight through into the core, rage and heal spell waiting for them, um, push through there, use my uh, um, spell number three, which, sorry, if we could count jump, rage and heal as three spells, heal spell for my hogs is the fourth spell, rage spell for my queen to keep her alive is the fifth spell, and then we've just got poisons to deal with, so that's how my spell is going to work, and the idea is that um, I use my valks and hogs in synergy, push the Valks all around the outside to take down these defences, potentially go inside, I don't know how they're going to go, um, and then it should all come together quite nicely. That is the plan, and that's why I wanted it to be um, a scout, because it gave me the insight that I needed from the raid, which gives me a higher confidence going into this attack. Um, so we just need to remember a couple of things, see the Queen position, don't forget to put the minions down on just the one barracks, don't need the two, because the Queen ended up hitting it anyway. Um, get the CC pull nice and early. Going to use the cannon. Cannon was a, a perfect. I think he used the cannon as well. I just don't want to catch a, a weird spring trap and um, end up wasting troop space. So it's always good to note down these sort of things so you can use the use the cannon to get it out. So we're going to do the same there. Um, I should have a giant in my in my thing to um, to to create the funnel. So we're going to do all that the same. Right. I think we're ready to uh, to hit. Just got to try and remember all the little points. Um, but yeah, let's um, let's give this bad boy a go. I think we're all good. Going to hit the attack button and go in. Okay, we're going to start with the giant. Get him down. Wizards one and two. There we go. Meanwhile, queen, get her in. One, two, three, four. Minions. On the uh, barracks, need to get that barracks down. I don't want the queen pulling around to go and get it. Meanwhile, hog rider straighten onto the cannon, get the CC pull. There we go. Get the poison spell down ready. Um, okay, here we go. The queen has pulled forward a little bit further um, and she's. I'm going to pop the ability. I do not want her dying. And the, uh, in fact, the witch has gone and uh, sat a little bit further back. So I've dropped the second poison spell down. Now that that's done, I should be all good to drop the Valkyries down. So we're going to drop three Valkyries there. Big Wad over this side. King down as well. Trying to break through. That's the idea. Um, jump spell over here. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Rage. Heal. Come on, guys. Keep going. Um, I am going to drop the rage spell over this side. And then, meanwhile, we're going to drop hog riders in over here. And I'm going to drop a heal spell down to help them out over this side. They should start all moving through. Um, which is looking, I'm looking really good, I'm not going to lie guys, just just by trying to judge on what's happening at the moment, I think we're all good on a, f oh, caught another giant bomb there, that could cost me, um, going to drop my cleanup wizards down over this side, um, I've got the skellies coming out over to get me on the uh, troops, more valkyries coming through, I'm sort of out of everything else, so I've just got to hope that my queen can take down that cannon hoping she can come on keep moving through gonna pop the king's ability I want him to run ahead of the queen I don't know whether he's going to oh come on healers heal my queen up come on guys this could be the triple I was hoping for the arch tower is hitting my queen but the queen is in a good position she is now Hitting the Archer Tower. She's now... G <laughs> I think this is a triple, guys. Um, is there anything else I'm missing? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is going to be so close. Come on. Get that wall. Get that wall done. Run up ahead. 
two buildings to go, 99%. Here it is. Can I get it? Can I get the triple? Come on, guys. Just keep it. And I have got the triple. Oh, yes. That felt good. Jesus. Wow. Woo! Um. Oh, God. Lol. Um, got the triple. Thank you, Achilles, for dropping me the, um, wow. I shouldn't be watching this, actually. It's, um, to defense, so I don't really want to show off Jon Snow's base, so apologies for that, Jon Snow. <laughs> it was all about the scout. I've got to give him credit where it's due. Oh, that was lucky, though. That was lucky. <laughs> Not gonna sort of say that was my clutchness there. That was uh, down to a little bit of luck. Let's see what, what what as we do with every video. Let's see what went right, what went wrong. Now the wizards on the funnel, that went perfectly and uh, did what I needed to do there. The queen on the walk. Now, in terms of the uh, actual direction she walked, that was perfect. That all worked fine. Also, um, she the CC pull was a little bit sloppier. Like it. They went and off, uh, ended up going for my um, minion, which s sat so it could pull the, half the CC off. Then I didn't place the poison well enough. I placed it too far near the queen. So the w and I didn't place it early enough, so the witch wasn't affected. So I had to drop the uh, the ability down a little bit early. So it, it was a little bit sloppier, but um, it, it ended up being okay. Got that, f uh, and, and the queen did hit the witch, so I didn't need the second poison. Um, but uh, what I forgot to do is drop the jump step spell before the Valks, drop the hogs down at a similar sort of time frame. So I, I just, I didn't do do everything as timely as I wanted. So I w should have sent the hogs in about now, even though I was, I was sort of busy watching what, what was going on, which was my downfall, I think. So the jump spell's there. I wanted to use the heal spell for the rage and the corn. You can see with the rage spell there and the heal spell there, how quickly could I keep those Valkyries alive? And you can see here, gaining some good heal there. Unfortunately, they ran through it a little bit quickly and they didn't get the full extent of the heal. Um, and then the hogs ended up... Um, the hogs did okay. I think I caught a giant... Well, I obviously did catch a giant bomb there. They carried on moving through, so that was fine. The queen and the king... Uh, the Valks and the king actually did quite well going that direction. And the, at this point, there wasn't that many defences left. I think I got... Because I didn't have a poison, I couldn't really use it against the hogs. And then I obviously caught the uh, the next giant bomb, so that didn't help me out too much. Maybe it's because I had to place the heal spell, spell down so early. It didn't work out. But... I knew that I'd, I'd be look, I'd be getting most defenses. I was a bit unlucky that my wizard didn't start, top wizard didn't start breaking through the wall to get that gold storage then, because then he would have got the uh, the builder hut as well. And in fact, they came off and, and pretty much went walked to their death um, with that cannon there. So it only took an extra um, two buildings down before they're going to get targeted by that cannon. But um, the fact that the healers switched target there might have saved my bacon. I, in fact, it pretty much did save my bacon unbelievable heal swap there i mean geez if anyone uh, that that was just lucky for me i'm glad i got the king up in front and um, to tank for the queen i think um i know i wasted the, with the over sort of overshot of his ability because it, obviously it, it does hit health regeneration and he hadn't lost much health at all um because the healers had healed him up nicely but I think getting him in front of the queen was kind of key um, at that point in the raid, and it and it seems to have paid off because the queen survived and ended up with full health, which is a nice thing to go back to in my camp. So, wow, am I happy to bring a three star back for the clan? Uh, <laughs> yeah, great. So, hope you guys have enjoyed that one. Maybe you picked up a thing or two. I don't know. You don't always necessarily need wall breakers when you've got Valkyries; they can destroy a core in seconds. Um, and yeah, you don't always need giants either. Those giants were just a waste on um, on the scout attack. But I obviously I told him to do it, um, and it taught me some. I, I watched it because I thought those giants didn't do anything. What was the point in that? So uh, yeah, so if you can get a scout on a base like that and get someone to do uh, think of a plan, get someone to test it out for you, it can massively help you. And it worked out in my favour on this occasion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.